guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 2 Isby. Um, as promised, this is the episode where we, uh, we send Gertrude off to college. So that's going to be, here we go, call college. We already got our um, scholarships in the last episode. And so in this one we're going to head off and uh, age to a young adult as soon as she's finished with her lobster dinner. <laughs> She's tired, actually, but I don't think that matters. She'll probably get her um, need meters kind of boosted up when she moves to the college lots. Is <laughs> she discussing crime? Okay. Let's try that again. Who's it? Calling the phone. I kind of want to lock this by a cell phone want. Maybe when she's like just about to get this fulfilled, just in case. Yeah. Whatever. We're doing it now. No! So, uh, no, Sinjin's not available to talk because I need the phone. Alright. Call college. Go. Move to college. Gertrude is about to leave this household to move to college. Are you sure? Yes. Great. Well, that was fun. Oh, here it is. Instantly, the taxi comes. And mom and dad just wave from the door in tracksuit and underwear, respectively. Okay. And we're going to close all that. This household is now just Sinjin and Marilla. So we're going to go to, here we go, straight to the college lot from here. And we will return, I have to say before we go, we're going to return back to the house once she's done with her education. And nothing will have changed. Um, everyone will be exactly the same age and the lobster won't even have spoiled. Um, if I understand how this works correctly. It has been a long time since I've done college. It's, uh, honestly a little bit boring, but we'll see if we can make it interesting. So, Sims State University. Oh, these are all of the frats and things you can join. Um, we've got Marilla, sorry, not Marilla, Gertrude, right here. She's got 2250 in scholarships. And so the houses with um, green around them are ones we can move into. So this is a dorm. This is, oh, that's just a, like a private residence with some other roommates. I think there are two different dorms. Oh yeah, there's three dorms. This one has nine rooms, 14 rooms, and eight rooms. Let's go into the smaller one. I think I've been in this giant one before and it's just kind of crazy. We may have played that one too. So let's go ahead and try this one. Here we go. For <laughs> Alright. So, here we go. This is what the domes look like. And we I have everything paused because you gotta make the most of the first couple of minutes here before the other students show up. Because, as you see, there's nobody here yet. Uh, we've got four rooms downstairs, four rooms upstairs, each is a bed. Um, this one looks nice. It's got a computer. That would be super useful. So does this one. 
Downstairs has the cafeteria and the living area, and then upstairs has the bathrooms um, and another sort of study living area. I think that sounds like it'd be nice and quiet, and since Gertrude is a studious sim, we're going to go ahead and claim this room. And now we have the uh, cafeteria worker, Sirdar Se Seychelle. Okay. I've never heard either of those names before, so that's cool. Uh, he works in the calf and he will make food for us, which is super convenient. Yeah, there's um, a lot to be said for choosing the dorms. You can choose just like a normal housing situation or a frat, or you can make your own frat. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that, but when you live in the dorms, you don't have to worry about cooking or cleaning. You might have to worry about cleaning. I forget. Um, <laughs> and you get to like live with you're gonna have seven other sims in this house that we can get to know so let's real quick if we can change the bedding in here because that is not incredibly attractive let's see <laughs> something chill something basic here we go stripes can we change that i don't know if i want to all right that's fine. That's pretty much everything we own. And we're a freshman, and we're going to have to pick a major. I'm trying to remember how to do that. College, declare major. So if you recall, our lifetime want is to become the Minister of Education, or basically they reach the top of the education career. So we're going to declare our major from the computer here. There's a picture of her on the door there. Alright, and this will tell us, if we click on one, it'll tell you the ideal careers. So we're looking for education, which is a picture of the whiteboard. Here we go. So biology or psychology. So for Psychology, we study cleaning, charisma, creativity, and logic. Um, cleaning's useful. Cleaning mechanical body and logic. Ugh. Studying or having to work on your body skill it just sounds boring. So let's do psychology instead. And we could also always uh, change careers to something more exotic like uh, paranormal, law enforcement, or intelligence. Ooh, or even law. Alright, so this will be good. The study of the mind. Everyone is aware of the complexity of a sim's brain, but few understand its workings. A sim is indeed a wild mix of aspirations, personalities, and base instincts. Perhaps only one who studied psychology could understand the method behind this madness. Here we go. So now that we've chosen that, uh, you see we've got... Uh, instead of an age, we have a year in school. I believe each semester, well, yeah, here it says 71 hours. So each semester is uh, three days. And so there's two semesters and four years. So that's a really long time. Right, uh, 24, 24 days. That's like a long time. <laughs> so, um, We'll see what we can do. If it starts getting boring, I might install the mod that lets you go to your final exam and skip to the next semester whenever you're ready to. Otherwise, we'll actually be forced to like do some socializing and stuff. Then on this side, you've got, um, we don't have a GPA yet because we don't have any grades. We go to class from four to six. So it's nine in the morning now, we have plenty of time. And we're going to have to work on these three skills. We need these skill points before we can move on. So we fill up this bar by doing things like going to class, studying um, like in the bookshelf and writing term papers and you can only fill it up as far as this like this section of the bar you see that there's a section here that's grayed out because she doesn't have a body skill point yet um, and so she's going to have to work out a little bit if she wants to get the full potential for the year but uh, before we do anything i think it's really time 
Here we go get Gertrude some more clothes. So we're here at the university. There is electronics in the groceries. Where is Student Union? Oh, here we go, shops. Here we go. We're gonna go and purchase some new clothes. Cause that uh, that backpack it actually worked really well for the uh, little cutscene there. Made her look like very studious, but now it just makes it look like she's going hiking all the time. So I want to give her something better. We're going to go ahead and buy that cell phone she wants first. So as a knowledge sim, she wants to go to class and she wants to research with someone. So like do some studying with another person. Um, I don't think that person has to be the same major. Ooh. You think we should uh, try to get inducted into the secret society? That could be fun. Alright, do we want to buy a mp3 player? I don't think we do. Just... You can buy an mp3 player or a handheld gaming device or a cell phone. Because back in the day, those were all different things. <laughs> and this game is not super new. Um, yes, also if you recall the last episode, I think we gave her uh, a grilled cheese secondary aspiration. So that's why she wants to eat grilled cheese. So if you see these people around in um, these outfits, like the, the blazer, that means that they um, are part of the secret society. <laughs> and if you have enough friends in the secret society, you can get inducted yourself. And um, so that could be fun, since we have plenty of time between classes and things. Let's uh, just talk. Let's chat. <laughs> well, that did not go well. Alright, well, let's leave her alone and uh, go buy some clothes. Which showed up. That's fine. Alright. Um, this buying clothes thing, I've already done this like twice. Um, it's kind of dull, so I'm going to speed this up and uh, I will start talking again at the end of it all.
Okay, looking good. She looks much more grown up now, and I think that's nice. So we've got clothes. We're gonna see if. Uh oh, we've had a run in with that unsavory charlatan before. Looks like our not so friendly friend in the secret society isn't here anymore, so that's fine. I think maybe it's time to go back to the dorm and see who else lives there. So we've got Solveig. Wow. She looks like an exchange student with a name like that. Uh, we've got Cole. Oh, uh, there's a streaker because it's college. She has a name too. Virginia. Wait, does she live here? Or maybe not. <laughs> This is Wendy. Oh my gosh. So one thing that's really annoying about young adults is how slowly they walk. Oh my gosh. Forget no personality. Is she active? She is not active. I think it's possible that more active sims might be more likely to like jog places, but uh, yeah. So we want to work on our body skill before too long. And I think, yeah, there's no exercise equipment here. Here's a new roommate, Steven. Yeah, okay. Uh, so the only options I think are either to just sort of do some workout to some music on here or work out on the TV. Same thing like a workout DVD. Or, hey, look, Wendy's studying. So let's go ahead and do some research with her because we had that want. I think once everybody's moved in, which is like maybe they are. No, not quite. I want to see who all of our uh, dormies are before we leave. But we might try to go. I think there's a gym on campus where we can get that body skill point. So they're discussing college, I guess. And does that count as uh, studying with someone? Yep, there we go. She wants to influence someone to make grilled cheese. Alright, that's fair, that's fair. Hey, you know what? I have to say, I'm ashamed, but I, I judge this guy with the bandana. He seems to be quite studious. Look at all these people doing research. It's like the first day of college. And all getting really into it. Alright, so all of these rooms that have been claimed, oh here's uh, Tristan, another roommate. All these rooms that have been claimed, you can't see what's in them unless you're invited in. So you can see what's in this one because it hasn't been claimed yet. Now it has been by Adam and you saw everything disappear. Um, the red sign on the door means that they're busy and they won't be disturbed or whatever. We can also, yeah, we can lock the door, but I don't think anyone's really going to come in. Anyway, so should we, let's go ahead and walk. Uh, walk to a lot. We're going to go to the gym and work on that body skill point before we have class at four. Let's see, campus gym. Man, even in high speed mode, they move slowly. Oh, 
Here we are. So this has exercise equipment. Should we try out the treadmill or one of these weight machines that I don't know what they do? Let's give it a shot. Oh hey, now first let's uh let's meet this other stop walking. Greet Kathy. She seems nice. I mean I don't know if she's nice, but she's in the secret society and we would like to meet some of those people. <laughs> Let's check. That didn't go so well either. Alright, well whenever she's done, she's gonna try out the weight machine. Alright. She has the same tracksuit as Susie over here. How embarrassing. Give up, or is she gonna keep going? I don't know. Everyone's really bad at this. The thing about townies, all of these other students, it looks like a vibrant, active campus, right? There's so many people on the screen at once, but none of them progress at all. Like, I think they can progress, but they're always gonna be first semester freshmen with undeclared majors and no skill points, um, unless we start like playing them ourselves. So that's just something that's frustrating about The Sims 2 as opposed to 3 and 4. That like these people have no lives of their own. You enjoying yourself there? <laughs> that doesn't look fun. Yeah, I'm not a exercise person. I should be. But I've never used an exercise machine like this before. Alright, so she has class in an hour. She wants to talk to oh, talk to people about grilled cheese. Alright. So she has to go to class by four. It's the same way that like you get the carpool to come an hour before class. Alright, so she has her one point of exercise skill. So we're gonna stop there. You'll see that her full bar is available. And she's going to head to class, and that will give her some more. Uh, that little bit of red there is from studying with her friends at the dorm. Um, I believe this will turn like yellow and then green as it progresses up the bar. But uh, for now, she's just going to head to class, and that's just off the lot. It's like going to work. She has to get all the way to the edge, and then time will speed up. She gets her want for build going to class. So that's great. Just having a lot of grilled cheese wants. <laughs> okay, so she's back. You'll see that, yeah, she got like some plus to her, what's it, <laughs> her major. Um, and this is how far we are in her, you know, grade for the semester. She's actually very dirty. So let's go ahead, ladies room, let's take a shower and then grab some of this food here because yeah there's a, a cafeteria at the gym so why not eat mac and cheese after working out that makes perfect intuitive sense I think doesn't it What else makes perfect intuitive sense is the cafeteria worker doing the dishes in the bathroom instead of in the sink next to him. But whatever. getting to know this person we're sitting with? Not particularly. Just eating some mac and cheese. Alright, let's go ahead and head back to the dorm. 
Uh, man, I can never find. Walk to lot home. Oh, you can also buy clothes here at the gym. Alright. I guess if you get there and you decide you don't like your workout gear, you can just really quickly buy some new workout gear. And because of the way that time works in The Sims 2, it's 1 p.m. again. And it's like she never even went to the gym, except that she has the body skill point and all of the memories and all of that. Also, she is not hungry anymore. So uh, I think it's time to do something fun because we have you know, two and a half hours before class starts again. She can go to class twice in one day, sort of uh, because of that. Um, so I think I'm just going to let her do whatever she wants, but that will probably be in the next episode because I think we're pretty well established here. Um, this is going to be the status quo for several episodes, so if you have any requests, well, you know what? I was going to say if you have requests for what to do while she's in college, but uh, I am filming ahead of time, so I probably won't be seeing those things in time. So um, we'll just try to keep things varied and interesting. In the meantime, I will see you guys next week. Have a good one. Bye.